I'm Peter Bramirsky, an oceanographer interested in understanding how ocean waves interact with ice shelves. My colleagues and I traveled to Antarctica in 2014 to set up an experiment that would measure vibrations of the Ross ice shelf caused by ocean waves hitting the front of the ice shelf. We wanted to know whether these vibrations can weaken ice shelves over time and whether wave impacts can trigger the break off of large icebergs. To find out, we installed an array of seismic stations on the Ross Ice Shelf, just like the ones geologists use to detect earthquakes. We buried the instruments in the ice and left them in place for two years. We installed one line of stations roughly parallel to the shelf front and another line perpendicular to it. In September 2015, a Chilean earthquake produced a tsunami whose waves reached the Ross Ice Shelf, creating vibrations in the ice that our seismic array recorded. In the animation on the left, we modeled the Chilean tsunami arriving at the Ross Ice Shelf from the east. To see how the shape of the seafloor changes the amplitude of the arriving waves, we also modeled a tsunami from the north, which you can see in the animation on the right. These animations show that certain seafloor ridges can focus wave energy and waves get bigger when they encounter Roosevelt Island on the east side of the Ross Ice Shelf, which could affect how rifts in the ice develop in that region. Large cracks similar to those in the Ross Ice Shelf occur on other Antarctic ice shelves as well. Earlier this summer, a crack opened across the Larsen Sea Ice Shelf on the Antarctic Peninsula, creating an iceberg the size of Delaware. We don't yet know what caused the Larsen Sea Iceberg to break off, but we suspect that ocean wave impacts may have played a role. We hope the data we collected on the Ross Ice Shelf may help give us the answer. 